Hi guys another video by Mtech Pro, the iPhone XOR the iPhone X has been released today with a new Apple Watch and wireless charging, it's come with an endless screen. The device merges with the screen. The new Super Retina 5.8 screen, contrast, high resolution and brightness, support for a wide range of colors and unmatched color accuracy. With resolution of 2436 x 1125 and 458 pixels per inch. The screen uses new techniques and technologies to precisely match the curves of the case. This even into its elegantly rounded corners. The first old screen that meets the requirements of the iPhone. Colors sumptuous. Extremely precise tones. Fidelity of the blacks. High brightness and contrast of 1 million in a tiny space are housed some of the most sophisticated technologies, including cameras and sensors that make Face ID possible. The toughest glass ever seen on a smartphone, front and back. A surgical stainless steel. Wireless charging. Resistance to water and dust. Gestures that are already familiar to you make navigation as natural as intuitive. Finish the button. Simply scan to return to the home screen at any time. Home page a simple scan returns you to the home screen. Multitasking to reveal all your open apps, swipe up and pause. Control center swipe down to instantly open the customizable control center. Siri press and hold the side button to ask Siri a question. Apple Pay double click the side button to make secure purchases with Apple Pay. So let's talk more about the iPhone X. Tim Cook was very adamant that this meticulously crafted machine represented the future of the smartphone, and he was probably right. After all, Apple's sheer popularity means that whatever it sticks into its devices are what the rest of the industry has to respond to. You're right to think the iPhone X seems a little familiar, though. Its 5.8-inch, edge-to-edge old display is indeed beautiful, especially up close. I originally expected the notch to bother me more at first, since it's noticeable larger than the one on Essentials PH1. Well, I was wrong. Apple has historically kept iOS's top bar pretty clean, as it doesn't really matter that there's a huge chunk cut out of it. What did bother me a little more than expected were the bezels that ran around the screen. To be absolutely clear, they're really not that big and I expect most people thinking about dropping $1,000 on a phone could care less. Still, given that Apple's competition has done an incredible job trimming the cruft from around their displays, I can't help but feel that the iPhone X's design doesn't have the same kind of impact as, say, the Essential or Samsung's recent galaxies. Of course, your mileage may vary. I definitely can't complain about build quality, Though, the X's glass front and back melt effortlessly into the stainless steel ring that runs around the phone, and the precision on display here is nothing short of fantastic. So yeah, Apple built a beautiful phone. What else is new? What's really important is the way Apple rejiggered iOS to work without a home button, if that sucked, the $1000 asking price would be even more unreasonable. Thankfully, the team working on iOS cooked up a pretty elegant solution. If you've used a new iPad Pro, you sort of know what I'm talking about. Now, you swipe up from the bottom of the screen to view all your running apps in card form, and getting back to the home screen involves dragging the app window down and flicking it away. After years of mashing the home button, using the iPhone X was very strange for the first few minutes. Once everything clicked, I was shocked that Apple hadn't tried to do this sooner. It feels incredibly natural. Thank you for watching don't forget like and subscribe, share it if you liked.